All right, let's do an exam question walkthrough. And this time we're looking at resistance of a length of cable. Okay, let's open the question up and have a look. Let's read it together. So what is the resistance of 100 meters? So let's label these as we go through it. So what's the resistance of 100 meters length of 2.5 millimeters squared twin, remember that, twin copper cable. The resistivity of copper is 1.72 times 10 to the minus eight. Okay, so what we've got to think now is what formula do we need for this question? And we're looking at it and we're thinking, I've labeled these so I can see. What formula do I know that includes resistance, resistivity, length, and the cross-sectional area? Well, this is the formula we know, isn't it? We've seen this one a lot of times. So the resistance, is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the length divided by the cross-sectional area. So let's label this formula so we understand this. So this R represents the resistance, okay? The rho, which is the Greek symbol for resistivity, okay? And then the L represents the length of the cable that we're dealing with. And the A is for the CSA, which is the cross-sectional area of the cable. For example, in our question, the cross-sectional area is 2.5 millimetres squared. Right, so now we've got that boxed off. Let's just get rid of this over here so we can keep that. Okay, so let's analyse our question, see if we can input some values into this formula and make it work for us. So we know that we're looking for the resistance, and that's equal to the resistivity, this one, so in our case, the resistivity of copper is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8. So let's write that out. And as we write it, we'll tell you what we mean by that. So 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8, what that's saying is, is that per ohm meter of copper, so the resistivity of copper per meter is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8. Okay. So then what we're going to do with that, we're going to multiply that by the length. So if we've got one meter here, which is this, one meter, the resistivity of copper at one meter, we need to multiply that, don't we, by what we've got in our question, which is 100 meters. There, L, resistivity multiplied by length, which we've got. And then we're going to divide all that by the cross-sectional area of the cable. So let's look what we've got. Cross-sectional area we've got is 2.5 millimeters squared. Well, we can't write 2.5 millimeters squared in here and expect our calculator to understand what we mean and be able to come up with an answer. It won't work. So let's go down here and just write something for us to remember for future. So 2.5 millimeters squared. Right, okay. Best way for you to remember this for this question and all your exams going forward is that millimeters squared is equal to minus six. When I say minus six, I mean, look, if we were to write this out in standard form, we'd have something we, times 10 to the minus six or whatever we've got. In our case here, how we're gonna write this in standard form now in order to fit underneath our formula is we're gonna write our cable size, 2.5, 2.5, multiplied by 10, as we do in standard form, to the minus six. So this is a really quick way of you just understanding cable sizes are always gonna be millimeters squared for us in our industry, aren't they? So if we always understand that millimetres squared is equal to minus six when we write it in standard form, we can write any cable size, can't we? So let's say we've got four, mil, four millimetres squared cable. In standard form, that's going to look like this. Cable size times 10 to the minus six. So that's the same as writing four millimetres squared. Anyway, we're not interested in four millimetres squared. We're interested in 2.5 millimetres squared. So now we've done that. We've got that, and this is what we can input into our formula now as the CSA. Okay, so 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6. Right, okay. So we know that the resistance is equal to this. We can input all this into our calculator at one time. We can put 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 times 100 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6. And we're going to come out with an answer of 0.8. Six, eight. And you might sit there thinking, yeah, I'm done. No, you're not done yet. Because, go back to the question again. We're looking at, and this is a common mistake, this, and they'll put this in all the time. We're looking at twin copper cable. So what we mean when we say twin is there's a cable there and there's two cores inside that cable that are carrying the current. So 
what do we need to do? We need to multiply this by two because what we've done here is worked out for one length of cable in this calculation. So we need to multiply 0 0.68 multiplied by two because we've got a twin cable and that's going to equal 1.376 ohms which is our resistance of a length of twin copper cable 100 meters long if the CSA is 2.5 millimeters squared. Right, let's recap them. So we read our question. We analyzed what we've got in the question. We've got, we've been asked for the resistance. Okay, we've got length, CSA, we've got a twin cable, and we've been given the resistivity. So straight away, we pulled out this formula, which we remember, which is uh, resistance is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the length divided by the CSA, which is the cross-sectional area. And then we came over here, didn't we? And we started inputting our values using the formula. So we put in resistance is equal to 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 multiplied by 100, which is the length. So resistivity multiplied by length. And then we're going to divide it by the cross-sectional area. So if you remember this bit, the cross-sectional area, we came down here, didn't we? And we explained that millimeter squared is always minus six when you write it in standard form. So any cable size you have, in this case it's 2.5 millimeter squared, we can write it in standard form like this, 2.5 times 10 to the minus six. Okay, we did a little example there, didn't we, of four mil, which would be four times 10 to the minus six. But we're not interested in that, we're interested in this, 2.5 times 10 to the minus six. So we typed all that into our calculator at once, hit equals, and that's given us an answer of 0 0.68. But remember, we're not done at that stage because what did we need to do? We needed to multiply it by two because we had a twin copper cable, a twin copper cable, which means there's a cable, there's two cores inside it for us, which is carrying the current. So we have to multiply this because this only works out one length of cable. We multiply that by two because we've got a twin cable and that's given us our answer in ohms or the resistance of that cable.